Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and we had a super red day on Friday. We had FedEx down 21%, Roblox down 9% and the list goes on and on with stocks that were down in the red. So in this video, we're gonna do some of the most popular stocks. We are gonna talk a little bit about FedEx because they drop so significantly, but I also wanna do an update on Tesla, Google, maybe Disney, Apple, Meta, Lucid, Intel, AMD, NVIDIA. Those are some of the stocks on my watch list this week. So I wanna cover them all this week. Make sure you subscribe with post notifications on. If we don't talk about one of those stocks in the video, in this video specifically, then we'll talk about them later on in this week. But let's dive in and see how many of these stocks we can talk about in today's video. So the first one up is FedEx down 21%, holy cow. Big, big drop, big elevated volatility going on right now, down 31% in the past one month. And in the past year, we can see they're by far at a 52-week low. So now it might be an opportunity, and I want to do a deep dive into them, but today might not be the video because we have so many other stocks to talk about. So in the past five years, we can see that they have pretty much a multi-year of around $125 per share and all the way as low as $105 per share. So if FedEx gets under $150 per share once again, which I think there is a good chance to see FedEx under $150 per share and closer to $145 once again, I think that's a fair place to be buying for long term. If we scroll down, we can see that they have a PE ratio of an 11 0.2, which is pretty fair for this market, honestly. A market cap of 41 billion, a dividend yield of also 2.1, which is pretty high, and a 52 week high of 266. I also believe just in FedEx business model for a long term, FedEx and UPS. Um, are obviously the two big ones. But more and more, we see the world depending on companies like FedEx, and I don't think that's going to be slowing down anytime soon. So FedEx and UPS is going to be a good deep dive video to do later on. Um, so make sure you subscribe with post notifications on so you can see if FedEx the better buy or UPS is the better buy in an upcoming video. Now, real quick, I am filming this on Sunday, and we see Ethereum dropping 7%, so I want to do a quick segment on them they're down 23% in the last week. We just had the merge going on with Ethereum. So it is a pretty big deal. Um, you know, this is very bearish overall for the crypto community. And that could definitely leak over into the stock market. We see some supports right at $1,400 per share, right at $1,428 um, per coin. And it looks like it broke into $1,300, which it hasn't recently went that low so it looks like it's making lower lows and also lower highs so that's interesting to see if um, ethereum will get to that 900 dollars range like it did back in june make sure you follow me over at the daily cryptocurrency because i'm also going to be releasing a full update video on my youtube channel the daily cryptocurrency and also i put out daily updates on cryptocurrency on instagram at the daily cryptocurrency. So make sure you follow me over there if you haven't already. After that, we have Tesla at $300 per share and it peaked its head below $300 per share down to 295 and then it went back up above that on Friday. Okay, so overall we see that Tesla's not making much movements in the last month. It really did go down 10% though, 11%, and then it shot back up around 13% after going down to 266. So right now, 266 is a pretty strong support. However, if we pull out to the three-month support, we see more important activity going on with Tesla. We actually can see that um, in the last three months, they're up 42 percent since their split so if you bought during the split i think they split around end of june um early july you can fact check me on that and comment below if you do find it but we see tesla at 213 dollars per share just three months ago so they're up around 42 percent since then all right and i think buying tesla under 250 per share for long term is a great opportunity um, in my opinion, I think we will see another 52-week low. So I think we'll even see Tesla closer to $225 per share or even under $200 per share. The last time it was under $200 per share was um, over a year ago, was May 2021. And then after it dipped down that low, it skyrocketed up 100%. 
So if you see a big dip on Tesla, consider that a buying opportunity. Even if you're a short-term investor or a long-term investor, I think big dips on Tesla, anything under 225 especially, is gonna have short-term potential and long-term potential. And don't forget to set your price alert so your phone notifies you when it's ready. So for example, Robinhood doesn't do it, but you can use Yahoo Finance, go in and set a price alert on Tesla for 225. You can even set one on 250 and your phone will just notify you when there's a buying opportunity on Tesla that way. So you don't have to go in every day, track it, try to remember it. Cause you're going to forget. Unfortunately, that's how it happens. And that's what I do on my coaching programs too. I set pr custom price alerts. So you can message me every single day and ask me what price alerts for certain stocks that you're interested on. Just message me on Instagram. You can get on the close friends list. You can see exactly what I'm buying, how much I'm buying and everything in between. I have over 1500 students and over 800 positive testimonials on that program. Check out the highlight section on my Instagram, the daily stock market, if you're interested in more of that. After that, we have Apple, which is another highly, highly requested one to be talking about. It seems like you guys love these big tech stocks, and it's probably where you guys have most of your money. That's why you guys always want me to talk about these stocks as well. So Apple's down 13%, a little bit concerning, but obviously they were doing phenomenal. If we pull out to the year, we can see in the past year they're down 1%. Are they're up 1%, excuse me. Not many stocks in the stock market, if you pull up a yearly chart, they positive on or green on. However, Apple is the outlier. They were up even at one point in August. You know, just last month, they were up 16% on the year, which is incredible. There's a lot of volatility on Apple. As you can see, they were $142 basically to start out the about 52 weeks ago, okay? Then they were, went up 25% rally they had. They had a sell-off of around 11% from there. They had another rally of 7%. Then they had a complete sell-off of 11%. From that sell-off, they had a rally of 12%. Then they had the biggest sell-off of the year, going down as much as 25% from April to mid-June. All right, so that was a little bit concerning. Anytime you see a big sell-off like that on Apple... 25% sell-off, 15% sell-off. Consider that a buying opportunity because what happens after Apple sells off that hard? They typically rally. And in this case, from mid-June to mid-August, we actually saw a 34% rally on Apple. Okay, so that was a buying opportunity there also. And after we see a huge rally, obviously we saw there was huge um, resistance right at 175. We've seen Apple set this in the past. So what happened when Apple was 175 on August 17th? It was a major resistance after a 34% gain on Apple. There was a good chance that it wasn't going to break through the resistance, okay, and make a new support and resistance. So we took puts out on Apple, and what happened? It fell 10%. We were up thousands and thousands of dollars on that put option. So that's why trading options is great thing to learn because even if a stock only moves 10% or 5%, you can still make 50 to 100% gains. And in some cases, you can even make 200 to 300% gains just if the stock moves double digits. So overall, to get back on track on Apple, we can see that it is currently selling off there is a resistance around $150 per share. So if it breaks under $150 per share, there can be some buying opportunities. I want to stash up closer to $135 or even $145. Between that area, $145 and $135, I have buying opportunities. Um, but I think most of my buy heavy buys are going to be under $135 because I think there's possibility that we can see Apple closer to $130 or $125. So that's definitely on my radar. You can see I've been dollar cost averaging into Apple other than that. We're down 24 bucks, not a big deal. We only have $475 in Apple, but for long term, I do wanna be buying much, much more. So I, I wouldn't be afraid to triple or quadruple my position in Apple. We can see the market cap is one of the largest companies in the entire world. However, the PE ratio suggests that it is Somewhat of a fair value if you consider what you're getting with Apple. You know, you can't just look at a PE ratio for Apple because of the moat. 
that Apple brings. Okay, Moat is an interesting th thing to look up with stocks if you don't know about that. Definitely look into it. Other than that, Disney was a stock that you guys wanted me to talk about down 12% in the last month. We have seen stocks selling off. Um, in the last three months, they're up 15%. In the past year, they're down 40% still. Okay, so we saw Disney with a little bit of a rally recently, 36% upward movements from their $91 stock price. That's when we were buying Disney pretty heavy. It was around $95. You can see we're only up 12% on a small swing trade. That's because we already took most of our profits um, when we were a little bit higher. We sold off most of our gains, so we only have 1.5 shares left. But I'm going to be um, loading up on my position again if we can see our average cost or I should say the share price of Disney closer to $95 per share. Okay, now $91 per share. I, I don't think Disney will break below um, multi-year lows like it did, you know, in July at $90 per share. Okay, but I think if you see Disney even at $105 per share, $100 per share, $95 per share, these are good for long-term investors. Okay, if we see under $95 per share, there's going to be opportunities for swing traders, shorter term investors, and option traders. So shorter term investors should have their price alert on Disney closer to $96, $98 so you guys can be prepared um, for the short term trade. Longer term traders could probably have their price alert set under $105, $100, and even $95 per share to do a little bit of a heavier buy for long term investing. Because there's a very good chance that we'll see Disney back around $175 per share, even $150 per share, which would imply around 100% gains, okay, in just the next 24 months. And if I can get a guaranteed gain of 100% over two years, you know I'm going to take it. Obviously, Disney is not a guarantee, and there's a lot of risk involved, but... It's just something to consider. It is a stock that I do invest in for long term, especially if I can get closer to $95 per share and load up on a few shares for long term. You know, this is a stock that's going to be around for a while. So the next 10 to 20 years, I think Disney is a safe stock to be holding, especially if you can buy under $95 per share. The last stock that we'll talk about is Meta Platforms. I want to do a deeper dive in the stock, but we'll just talk about them briefly in this video. Down 12% in the last week, down 16% the past month, down 9% in the past three months, and down 60% in the past year. This is the lowest the stock has been in multi, multi years. Even during the pandemic, we didn't see uh, Facebook or Meta platforms this low. They were only trading at around $149. So right now it's making new lows. It's making new supports. The lowest that we possibly have seen in the last five years was $124 per share. So Meta platforms is pretty much in a free fall right now to $125 per share. There's a good chance that we will see it closer to $125 per share to $135 per share. So you can bet there's probably going to be a lot of people shorting right now. The bulls or you know people who want to see it go higher need to see the reclaim of $160 per share. And it needs to reclaim that $150, $160, $170 territory where it was trading the last three months. It needs to reclaim these two, these support and resistances that it was trading here. So Meta Platforms is a great stock to be tracking. It's a great stock to be looking into and have on your radar. And I think it is a great stock also to still have and be buying in dollar cost averaging and for long term. You can see our average cost is 164. We're going to get that cost a lot lower. Um, but if you want to know the exact reason why we keep seeing Meta Platforms sell off, make sure you subscribe with post notifications on because we are going to be talking about that in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this digestible, easily digestible content. It's easy to understand. We just talk about the stock market and we talk about all your favorite stocks. So if you appreciate me talking about your favorite stocks, every single one of them in this video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe with post notifications on if you got this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet what are you doing just subscribe it takes one second out of your day and it helps my channel out tremendously
Thank you guys for all the love and support you've been showing on the channel. Now 174,000 followers. Over almost 600 posts is our next milestone. And if you want to join the close friends list where we've been having massive results in the past few weeks and even the past few months, go ahead and click success number six or success number five and read through some of these success stories. We've been having massive success just recently as well. Um, over $600 gain just from one day of holding. Just absolutely massive gains. $1,300 made just from one day. Uh, a few days of holding from one trade. And the list goes on and on. You can see more massive success from a lot of students. So if you want to be the next success story, all you got to do is message me on Instagram and I get back to every single person. I even have programs developed for absolute beginners. So don't be afraid. Just message me on Instagram and I'll be able to help you out. I'll shoot you over my website. So that way you can see exactly what you're going to be getting, how much everything costs. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Share this video with a friend, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market by the market peace